What's going on, y'all? Welcome to some scary movie night. Yes, we're gonna kill it, definitely. Who was the killer? Don't know. Find out next time. I'm totally joking. I'm so freaking nervous for this episode. Honestly, I, I even, like, even censored myself. What? That's how scary I am with this episode, guys. We have a massive upcoming fight with Guzma, a 6v6 battle, and with Nanu, by the way, and then we go to death row. So, like, literally, this one episode, obviously we're not going to complete all that in one episode. Let's be quite frank here. But death row has been entered. <laughs> Super scary. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so thrilled about that, guys. I almost wanted to just, like, cancel this episode and just do it all and say, Oh, but nothing happened. I didn't lose anything. I played the worst part of the game perfectly. I definitely didn't lose a mod in the area that I lose mods the most. I did had a perfect run. Yeah, we all know that's not going to happen. And that would be so unbelievable. <laughs> That it'd be silly for me to even try that. Like, the only time I actually got past something like that was when I had broken, busted, absolutely insane situation. <clears throat> Wonder Guard, Gyarados. Um, yeah, so... With that prospect, not a thing. I was on a slacking, I think, in that series, too. That I was just trucking through with a slacking and a, Gar like a really good Gyarados. Oh, yeah, Friend Guard. It was not, it was not Wonder Guard, it was Friend Guard. Yeah, so I had a slacking and a friend guard Gyarados. Of course I trucked through. Like, I don't have that. <laughs> so that, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I should probably text Joy why I'm scared. Thank you, because I had a death row. Thank you, because I have officially entered death row. Skull emoji. Uh... I'm just glad we led with Quavarius. It definitely was not a terrible play on my part. Um, also, it's raining, which is going to create an annoying circumstance. Um, if you guys did not understand or know why it would create such an annoying circumstance. Well, it's just, let's put it simply, rain is so fantastic. It is the best. It's actually raining here in IRL times. So, yeah. So, rain is just rain. You deal with it, you get it over with, and then you're done. Uh, but in Pokemon, for some reason, you'll encounter, like, a Primal Kyogre at this point. And you're just going to be like, so that happened. And then you just accept the fact that you died. That That's what happens. You either accept death or you truck off through and hope you don't die, which is second. We're doing the second. We're trucking through and hoping nothing dies. But, like I said, this is, like, about high time where we run into something stupid like a Primal Kyogre. Like, honestly, we've seen Primal Groudons. If we don't see a Primal Kyogre, I will be shocked, okay? Him on Lee. That's not bad. Mm. It reminds me of stuff, and that's sad, but it's fine. Also, we have so much stuff to sell, and I just haven't been able, I haven't gone anywhere to sell it. So, like, I guess we're going to do that at the fourth island, guys. We're not going to use anything that we need to sell stuff and just use it at the fourth island, I guess. I didn't even do a team recap for you guys. It's okay. The team stayed the same. I thought about grinding and training. But this is where, where we are kind of really going to see where our team sits in terms of... Oh, that's a double battle. I don't want to fight that. In terms of level, right? Because I think that I only boosted it like 5%. And if that is the case then he should be like level 39 um so that's my projection is that i messed up and had it set to sleepwalk levels because in the sleepwalk i only randomized it by the five percent i gave myself a five percent boost figured it'd be enough and it would be perfectly fine and it was it totally was a great thing for a sleepwalk especially in our circumstance um Wow, that, that, 
That was actually pretty good. Okay, hi. You should tell greetings, visitor. You wish to meet Master Guzma? Here, give me the three secret passwords. Oh, that's the B button. Gosh dang it, Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Nintendo Switch has it flip a doodle. Hold up. Uh, beat up. Wimpod. Tabu Coca. Absolutely not. I don't know. No, I did not get it right. Beat up. Is it Galissapod? And Tapacoca? I was like, I know it is. Okay, look, look at me go, though. It didn't take me, it took me two attempts to figure that out. I was like, is it Wimpod or is it Glycopod? Which one is it? I don't remember. Hi, item that I love a lot. That's gonna be perfect. Uh, so, now we really have to think about it. Because like I said, I think he's gonna be like a level 38 ace. So... I don't have to fight either of those dudes. Oh, oh my god. The hated boss who beats you down and beats your head up again. You, big bad Guzma is here. I really don't get you, kid, but at least you have a change. This is a change of pace. Not every day does someone come out straight for me looking for a beating. It's okay. Masochism's a great stat to have. Um, yeah, I'm here for... Ah, oh, I, I was going to say I'm here for you. I mean, bonk. I know I deserve it. But I'm gonna be mad about this. Honestly, I because I don't look at the t the um the uh the dialogue a lot. I forget that that's the whole reason that we're doing this is because Galactic or Galactic Skull took the uh. I don't even know what that Pokemon's name is. Oh my gosh. What is that? What is that Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know its name. Oh my god. I really am old. <laughs> what is that Pokemon's name? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What the heck? Um, dude, I only recognize its evolution because of who he looks like. Um, Gumshoes, young, young, young goose, young goose, young goose. That sounds right. Holy crap! I did not think that I would actually just butcher that entirely. Hi, brain. Where'd you go? Apparently, you're not here. It's it's fine. It's whatever. Definitely not a problem when we're going to go two 6v6 fights in one episode. Also, yeah, he is 38, so I did F up. His ace is 39, so at least we figured out what the heck is going on and why it felt weird. Because I was like, the levels seem quite low. Yeah, I accidentally did 5%. Yes, yeah, so we, we're kings over on this channel, and we mess up everything. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, messing up something definitely doesn't happen here. Perfection is the only thing we strive for. Um... <laughs> Today we're just making fun of everything. Okay, that's that, that's kind of the mood for the day. Just make fun of anything. Um, okay. But to get back on track, um, Snuggle Bop, I swear, if the first freaking battle that we're doing, that a big battle that we're doing in this episode just causes death instantly, I'm gonna be like, yep, that's just what I expected. Um, oh, that's right, Snuggle Bop does not have. I'm sorry, Snugglebop. I forgot. This is why we do team recaps, for the, especially for the Pokemon that are new to the team, like Snugglebop, so you can remember what the frick Snugglebop has. I just saw a grass type and went, we're fine. Nope. Snugglebop doesn't have a grass move. Nobody on your team has a grass move, John. Literally nobody. Um, it's fine. It's okay. It's chill. Um, I guess then the best move is Stab Leech Life. Especially while Klotzer's asleep and we get two hits. We do not do a KO this thing. And we get slower because of Tangle Hair. Yas. Um, honestly, though, it should be okay. 
It should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is one big thing, though, with Snugglebop that I gotta be careful of. Snugglebop has two quad weaknesses. So I do not know where to draw the line with Snugglebop. Because I clearly will not 2-hit KO it. Doesn't even look like a 3-hit KO. Hmm. But I have so much ground. That's a problem. Um. I don't have... Well, I have an electric move, but it's on a Pokemon I do not want to use electric moves with. Hmm. I, I got it tested. Wow, it didn't even wake up. It woke up turn one. And beca because of the speed, it's I'm slower now. Huh. I'm not a fan of that. Snuggle bop. But it is a... Like... Ah. Uh, we're taking the safety first route. I'm switching. I'm taking safety first. Oh! We both swapped. Wow! Yeah, that's great. That's lovely. So great. That's uh, that's not something I wanted to see at all. Um, that's so bad. Oh my god, this fight's going terrible! This is literally exactly how I anticipated the freaking death row to start. Just nothing going right at all. Love it. We're so happy about this. It's so great when things are not going the way that they're supposed to in a fight. Um, crap. What do I even do here? Um, that's a very good thought process and a thing that I got to think about. Where do I proceed? I don't, again, I have a fighting move. But that fighting move is on something that literally is a Pokemon that is weak to both this thing's stabs. Ha. Huh. This is absolutely not the Pokemon I wanted to see. Oh. I'm texting Charizard. I'm like, today's the episode where I text everybody. Death Row. Going strong. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my god. What do I... What do I even do? I'm gonna send him a picture. Come on. I don't even know what to do against this thing. <laughs> Dude, I don't need... I, I, Baneful Bucket doesn't even work because it's a steel type. Dude, I don't even... Ah! Uh, um, Baneful Bucket doesn't work. I did not realize how much trouble that this one specific bond gives me. What the heck? Dude. I got a switch. I don't have anything I can do with Celestia. That was like the perfect double and now I'm in trouble. Oh my god. Why did that rhyme? Excuse me. That's not supposed to happen. Piduck? Piduck seems like the answer. I swear this is going to go terrible. This is going to go wrong. This is going to go wrong. How is this going to go wrong? Let's find out. Electric Surge. Oh, nice. Drop by accuracy. That's not a good start. <laughs> um, I'm going to Scald. Hopefully that does some damage. That's going to do a decent chunk, right? Half? A little over half? Oh, boy. It's bu We got the bird! I didn't even realize that. Okay, 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 okay. This is okay. This is okay.
to Dene. Ah, why? That's a real. <laughs> the electric train's up. No. Yay? Yay. Oh. He's kind of just having any of the perfect Pokemon for his situation. And having to just toughly work around this in like a chunk, 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 chunk manner is so scary. Um, luckily though, Venoshock should kill it. It's a Dedene, like, oh no. Okay, Clotzer comes back out. That's great. Love it. Die, please. Yay. Do your job and kill it. You're probably not, though. Good job, yay. So great. Um, crap. Yay. Uh, yay. Why? Why? And why? Uh. I think I'm going to go Pyduck again. Pyduck is just going to kind of have to take this the reins right now, I think. Um, okay, girl. I knew you had a water type move out coming, so thank goodness I swapped. That hurts. Oh, oh, that was a crit. Okay, we're fine. That was a crit. That was a crit. We're okay. We're okay. It's chill. It's chill. Because, oh, I know what I want to use my PP up on. Scald. Duh. Why did I not think of that at all? You know, Scald exists, John. It's fine. Okay. Hydro Cannon, no. Never. To, uh, recharge move? No, Pyduck. The Dene is coming back. Uh, but now I have a little bit more room for the Dene. Um, I'm going to go for... Uh, who's faster? Is it Yay or Bry right now? At this current moment, it's probably Yay. It is Yay, but Bry has more versatility. We're going to go into Bry. Like, yeah. Bry has more versatility... I don't think that that eight points are going to matter that much. I swear, if Dedene actually... Wait, what? What is he doing with his Dedene? They got a thousand arrows! Okay, Bry. Be lucky that that's the one you have. Dragon Pulse. That should be okay. Jeesh. This fight is something else. Jigglypuff. You're... I don't have steel moves. Yay, get back out here. You, you're the only one that can handle Fairy. Your purpose is fairy. We've known your purpose has been fairy for a long time. But still, it's just like, oh. It's weird that fairy, in like, it's weird when you do two different things and one fairy exists and the other one fairy does not. Like, it makes it complicated. And I can talk about this now because, um, I probably shouldn't be because it comes, the, what's, what I'm talking about comes out on Thursday. But it's fine. I mean, it's going to be like tomorrow anyway. So it's like I can talk about it a little bit. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. I can make subtle references to it. And now at this point, because it comes out tomorrow. But still, it's whatever. It's like, ah, it's so scary. It's it's so scary doing this. Like, ah, fairy types. Lovely. They're the best. Definitely don't scare me at all. Type null. You know, that Pokemon, you have no idea what type it is when it comes out. Yeah, that Pokemon. I think, though, I think, and I want to test something. I think it actually acts as Arceus does, and it does not matter what type comes out. It's, it just matters for the move pool that it gets. I, I think. That's, I think that's how it works. Oh, the type null is, that's the wrong Pokemon, John. You know, type null is the always normal type Pokemon. You're talking about Savali. But even then, it doesn't matter. Because I think Savali works that way, too. That's good. That actually is so good. That forces the Dedene. Which means I can Thousand Arrows freely unless he wants to swap it. I don't think... I think that, that Thousand Arrows negates that, doesn't it? That's... It's better than Earthquake. 
if I I am on the party of Thousand Arrows is better than Earthquake. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Thousand Arrows is better than Earthquake. Honestly. Honest to goodness, that I believe that. Thousand Arrows is better than Earthquake. Earthquake has more power. Thousand Arrows has more versatility. I take versatility over power any day of the week, unless the power differentiation is completely, like, skewed. But, oh, that's the wrong move. Good job, John. Good job. You know, I bragged about one thing and then just full up another. It's that's not, yeah, that yeah, that's a good idea. I think I think that's a great idea. It's okay. It's, we're still faster. It doesn't matter, but still, just flubs are great. Okay. No, Bry. No. B B A. Oh, it doesn't even let you do that. Again, playing two different games. Because you can hit B and it's fine in the other game. But this game, you have to click the button. Uh. What's wrong with you? Give that kid the Pokemon back now. Hi, Yumshoes. How are you? I remember your name finally. Give me that buggy MZ that I can't use. I mean, I, literally, I cannot use it, so, like, what's the point? But still. Okay. Now we get out, and we can't fly. It, it basically goes, flying is not acceptable here, I want to say. And they have not exited the building, but they don't uh, fight you anymore. Oh, wait. If they don't fight you anymore, can I? Oh, this does this. In, no, it does not incite a fight anymore. Ooh. That might be a strap for the future. Because, okay, so when you go into that wrong room, it actually typically incites a fight, right? A fight ensues, and you're like, well, crap. But if you beat him first, if you know the pattern, you don't have to worry about the fight that ens that ensues. Because the fight doesn't... Ooh. Strategies! I know we're about to fight you now. It's fine. It's fine, Nanu. It's fine. It's chill. It's chill. I know it's fine. Everything's okay. Definitely not mashing the A button. Definitely not. Me mashing the A button? No, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me at all. <laughs> could never. I could never just mash the A button and pretend none of this exists. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that's just not, that's not how it works. That would be too mean. That would just be like, that would be mean I would be stressed about it. And, you know, I, I am never stressed. I don't get stressed by anything. 100%. Like... That's the exact opposite of me. I'm <laughs> anything that wants to stress me out, go for it. Uh, anyways, I think we just gotta go to the um, Aether place first. Yep. Gonna fight Gladion too. I forgot about him. I forgot he existed. <laughs> He's the one that killed me in one of my latest runs of this game. Um, you know, you you just block out your deaths. That's just how that works. <laughs> If you don't block out your deaths, who are you? Um, <laughs> perfection. <laughs> that's, that's, that's literally the title of today's episode. Perfection. <laughs> Got to be imperfect. No imperfections. No, and nothing allowed. It's like, oh gosh, John. She's gone. She doesn't exist anymore. Here's exactly what happened, and we didn't choose to stop it at all. I cannot believe they took her away like that. I mean, yeah. And now I get to fight on your behalf because you, Gladion, thinks it's my fault when I wasn't even here in the first place. The battle how? Not me. How are you that oblivious? Pun intended. You have a Whismur, dude. You have a freaking Whimsur. What are you doing with your life? Why? Why do you choose to fight me? Guys, you're choosing to fight me. Also, apparently we're not at the threshold. I thought 38 was the threshold. That's my normal threshold. Did I really F this up that bad? Slow, bro. Uh, Snugglebop. 
Snugglewop is proving decent right now. Snugglewop has been a good little fella. Oh, hi. You're Omega. I was not informed of that. I was informed that you were just going to be a regular Slowbro and not a Mega Slowbro. Um, go to sleep. <laughs> go the, to sleep. I should be able- It's 180 base defense, though. I don't know if I can kill this in two turns. I think it- Even if it's super effective, I don't know. Mm-mm. I can't- What the heck? Excuse me. Just crit for the sake of critting. <laughs> Snuggle Bob, you listen like a charm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scraggy. Snuggle Bob, I actually so want to use you right now. But also, it's a Scraggy. It's part fighting. I'm just going to go ahead and just take care of it with, uh... Actually, I, I actually want to take care of it with, uh... With Duck. Pie Duck. That's actually a pretty viable option. Not going to lie. I'm going to do it just for the viability. Just, just because, I mean, it's Pie Duck, guys. I got I to gotta give love to Pie Duck, okay? Pyduck has gained a lot of popularity, so we need to use the Pyduck. That's what gaining popularity feels like. Just getting to use Pyduck, because he's popular. <laughs> That's Pyduck's MO. Oh, I'm popular now, by the way. I'm just gonna be used now. It's like, okay, Pyduck. Oh, I got called. Is that mom? No, it was not. It was the stupid stuff that I've been dealing with for years. Um the blood thing. I, I did a blood drive at school, and now I just get called every day from it. Mel Tank. It was like, it's like the dumbest thing I think I did. It was go through the school. And you would think that if the school was doing it, that your info would not be just like, oh, here, you get to keep all of your info. No. Yo, yep, nope. You get to, all their, that info that you give to them, they get to freaking keep, and then they get to call you constantly about it. <sighs> For a second. I thought that was going to do way more, and then I remembered who I was dealing with. Wow! That's what we call tanky. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay, steam eruption. Pyduck? Pyduck? Listen here, Pyduck. I didn't think that you would actually just decide, no, this is my episode. Like, okay, Pyduck, I guess if you really want your episode, here it is. Like, burn? I don't care about the burn. Oh, it was this. It was the, um. It was the reflect. Oh! Watch it explode right now. Darkest Larian. Okay. Milky Brother was faster. It's fine. What is Milky Mother going to choose to do now? Give me the grass typing. I'm a Ludicolo now. I, oh, that's fine. That's okay. Hi, Duck was hurt by burn. Electricity is gone. Stoutland. That's still going to Bry. I feel like that's still going to Bry territory. Yeah, that's that's 100% still going to Bry territory. Come on, Bry. Jeez, oh, Bry. Bry just can get hit with like all the scary moves today, guys. Bry is gonna be the closest to death in today's episode. <laughs> Ah, uh, Moon Geist Beam. Wow. Um, Hex has not been used ever. And 100. Yeah, I'm going for it. I haven't used Hex. I straight up haven't. I haven't seen a use for it. Moon Geist Beam. Here we go. Cacturn. Oh, look. It's a critical Cacturn, everybody. Uh, what do we? What does critical character get killed by? I think it just gets bopadoodled by. Well, it gets bopadoodled by bug. Wait, it does. It totally gets bopadoodled by bug. Hey, Snugglebop! 
You want to murder something very, very harshly? I have the perfect Pokemon for you to do that with. This is the Pokemon that's going to have Liquid Ooze. Thank you, Snuggle Pop. You're the best. Wow, that did like. Snuggle Pop was like, yeah, I know. Let me just. <sighs> Snuggle Pop. Look at Snuggle Pop go. Snuggle Pop is the, the, the big Snuggle Pop, okay? Snuggle Pop is so amazing, okay? You cannot say that Snuggle Pop is not amazing, okay? Because Snuggle Pop is that amazing. You want to get jettied right into another fight? Yeah, sure. Let's do it, guys. What? How, how long are we in? We're 30 minutes in, guys. We should wait. Yeah, we should totally wait. Hi, Nanu. You don't heal me. I don't know if I'm fully healed. Oh, I am. I can totally do that. Okay. I had to make sure, guys. I had to make sure. I wasn't going to be dumb, okay? You there. You're going to battle me? Yeah. Okay, now that I know I'm fully healed, we'll battle you. Trial number three. Because, of course, just three battles that are freaking tough right away. And that's not even the half of it, but it's fine. Uh, okay, not new. Larion. Um, you got to be level 38 then because it's not fully evolved. What did I set my fully evolved counter to? You know what? I might have set it to 40. Because level 40 would have been way earlier if I actually randomized it right. But it's fine. Um, I, dude, I'm so triggered at myself. This is my problem. I get triggered with myself super easily. Um, Hi, Pie Duck. You want to get used again? You want me to starve today's episode? <laughs> what the heck? Why is Pie Duck over here? Just Pie Duck's like... I'm taking the star. I know I made that joke already, but still. Pyduck is over here like, I'm being the star. I don't care. I'm going to be the star, and nobody else can take my reign. Um, I have Joy's favorite move. I have one of your favorite water type moves. And I have a Dazzling Gleam, and I have Bull Tackle. Like, I am the star of the show. And it's just like, Pyduck, girl, like, calm down. <laughs> All you need to do is calm down, and everything will be okay. But no, no. Pyduck doesn't know the meaning of the word, word calm, okay? Just, just, Pyduck just doesn't know what that does and what the point of that is. Clefable. Yay. I just love that Pyduck. Pyduck and Snugglebob, guys. Like, they're the, they're the team leaders right now. They lead the team. They do. They are, like, and then we have Yay, who's actually just killing it now. Like... It's such a weird situation because you would never in your right mind be like you have look at this You would never look at this team and say like if you gave this team to a stranger and you asked them Who's the leaders of this team there? Who, who do you think they're most likely to say Garantina, but Garantina does absolutely nothing and is just riding off the success of everybody else Garatina is riding off the success of everybody else. The legendary Pokemon is riding off the success of everybody else. Like, what the actual frick, Doodles? Um, as course I'm gonna use it now, but still. <laughs> like, it is essentially just riding off the success. Like, if Snugglebop, I'm gonna be 100% honest, if Snugglebop had a grass type move that was not Spore, Snugglebop would have been the one that sent out. This is how much. This Pokemon is just riding off the success of everybody else. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Like, I almost would... I would almost guarantee that, like, over 50% of people would say that's the Pokemon that's taking care of the team. Would Who would you guys say was taking care of the team? Honestly, Quivarius is up there. Who's learning Precipice? What? Yay! Is learning Precipice Blades. Now we have a decision to make. Oh, actually, yeah, I know I'm doing it. It's a 5% deflect, but for a gain, for double the gain. Like, why not? Cofagrigus. Huh. We're both super effective against each other, which is scary, but I think we have, that's our play. <laughs> yep. You got a slow start, my dude. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Have your attack. Have the thing that's scary. It's fine. You know, don't have to worry. <sighs> C 
Misty. More what the heck do I do with Politoed? Politoed's more specially defensive, though. So I think Snow Golf Bop is still the answer regardless, but... What's crazy is, like, Leech Life is 120 versus 110. So there's not even that much of a discrepancy there. But I don't think it's going to be a 2-8 KO, so I'm not going to put it to sleep yet. Oh, crap, it was. Well, I'm trapped in anyway, so it's fine. I mean, to be fair, it's a 2-8 KO. I can just leech life again. I underestimated Snuggle Bop, and I'm sorry. Snuggle Bop is just back to full. Take, takes a Spirit Shackle and goes, back to full, it's fine. It's like, okay, guys. Trick or treat. Who's learning that? Is that Snuggle Bop? I don't have anything to utilize Trick or Treat, and that actually would be bad for me at this current moment, so no. Sorry, Snuggle Bop, but no. Interesting thought process, though. I'll give you credit for that. But if it was like one that gave. If it was, if it was like Force Curse, I might have. Zigzag. I almost stayed in. I, I am so prepared for Generation 8. My butt almost stayed in, and I was just like, oh, it's a Dark Type. We're fine. No, John. It's not a Dark Type. Even if it was a dark type, it'd be fine sending in Bry, though, because it's dark and normal. Bry would still be the better option. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, me. Uh, you go, Brain. You go for it. <laughs> oh, Brain. We, we, just, <coughs> we need to have a talk about being mentally aware, because you're not right now. Uh... <coughs> Let me heal you again. Here, this is yours. Have this Darkinium Z. Okay, so. We've made it about a third of the way through. Because Death Row is like a three episode Death Row. So, we've made it one episode through Death Row. So far, unscathed. That's going to change here in about 2.5 seconds. Um, For you guys. For me, it's going to be like a couple days. But... We are officially done with our third island. And so, in the next episode, we're doing our transition period between the third and the fourth, or the third and the fourth island. Wow. We are so close to being done with Alola. What the heck, dude? I just don't even know. I don't even know how to react other than see you guys in the next episode when we continue our Alolan journey and go through the Aether Paradise. Holy crap.